what's going on everybody Quaku here back with another video excuse my voice today's video I have a little cold stuffy nose uh, but the app I wanted to show you guys that I haven't actually looked at in a while it's a very simple app so I'm gonna do some more at the end of this video showcasing more about it is called rounded TB so it's rounded TB you can get on the store for free and it's from torch GM uh, which again this is their only app and what rounded TB allows you to do is exactly what they show you and it is it lets you round your taskbar so I'm bringing this to you because we are on the week's eve of uh, the next generation of Windows announcements and um, yeah and I've been hearing a lot about people with talking about rounded corners and rounded taskbar stuff, elements, and just rounded elements as a whole. And so this is an app that really just lets you do that. You see that it is it is activated. And you can also see that you have your margins. Um, I can lower my margins to say three. And if you look closely at my taskbar, you can see the margins around everything just increase in size. And if I go to 10, you'll see how thin my taskbar gets, which makes it look kind of weird. So I, I think five should be pretty solid number. It's, it's still really clean looking. Now, the problem with five is that usually there's a highlight. So if you hit, in fact, if I hit zero with a margin, uh, you'll see that there's this line underneath that shows you what programs are open. Um, you don't see that when you shrink the margins a little bit. So let's say if we go to three and we hit apply, you see, you don't see that thing down there, so you don't know that the store is actually still active. So that's the one downfall to it. Um, you got your corner radius as well. There's only two things you can edit on here, which allows you to edit how how curved the corners are, how rounded the corners are. I found the sweet spot to be around 10 for me. I like the 10 number, but you can go pretty high. You can go to 20. Uh, you can go less. You can go to like uh, five, and you can see that the rounding, how how much more it rounds, and it does actually show the the desktop actually, uh, the background wallpaper. So that's pretty much it for this application. Um, there's not much to it. It doesn't use up much uh, memory or anything like that. Even though my computer is a little overkill. Now let's jump into the next part of the video where I want to show you guys. Um, I've done a lot of these tweaking the UI elements of Windows, things from the Microsoft Store only stuff. So I want to show you guys putting them all together. So now that I have put together all of the applications that I've kind of looked at so far that kind of tweaks the interface of Windows, these are kind of the things that you can run to make a look that's kind of like this where you see my desktop uh, wallpaper is animated, you have a centered taskbar, centered icons, you have floating uh, elements, rounded corners on your taskbar. So what I'm using for obviously the rounded taskbar is this video is rounded TB which I just showed. And then to center your taskbar icons, I'm using taskbar X, which is a pretty solid choice. It works really well. And then there's another thing is right here. These, this is your flyout is what they call flyouts on windows. And, um, normally it's in the top left corner here. Um, but with modern flyouts, which is another one of my top videos so far on the channel, it allows you to make your flyouts kind of look like this. And it does let you move around your flyouts, which I'm not going to actually do, but you can, you know, you can move it around wherever it is like that. But once it goes away, it will come back to its place of wherever you last left it. See right there, just like that. So that's another solid thing. This also allows you to have music controls as well. So if I hit play on my keyboard, it works. If I hit play here, uh, it works just like that pause it works pretty well um i can exit it real quickly and then if i use my volume control on my con my keyboard i can also control the volume or just drag and do the same thing as you could do before normally if this isn't muted and then there's another thing that i use it's called quick look um it's this icon right here i don't know if i've done a video on it yet but essentially what quick look does is it allows you to quickly look into a file um, so this is similar to Mac OS where it allows you to look into a file. So this music that I was playing right here, ES Stone Cookies, Dusty Dex. Um, if I hit spacebar on my keyboard, it plays a preview of it and you can see it there. And if I hit spacebar again, it closes. So that's allows me to have, you know, that kind of feature that's normally baked into Mac OS on Windows as well. Um, and then there's Fluent Search where uh, basically what it allows you to do is it does like a universal search across all of windows without having to go to that search button in the corner. Basically all you do, it is showcased by this arrow here, fluent search. And all you would do is hit control alt 
and it allows you to search anything on Windows. Um, if I want to do ES, I can change various settings and things like that. I can look up various files and things like that. Just a whole bunch of things that you can do with Fluent Search. Um, you can play music, you can search the web, you can do everything, every process you can manage with this application. So those are just a few things. And then the background, the showcase piece that kind of moves around and follows my mouse. Uh, this is another application that I love. This is one another one of the ones that did really well on the channel. It's called Lively Wallpaper. It's a more recent video. Um, they have a bunch of options that you can deal with on Lively Wallpaper. It's right here. They have a huge community on reddit and this is just a few things that i did you can even put your own videos on youtube um, as a web stream and allows your video to play in the background as a wallpaper on your computer um, now this is a little bit more processor intensive and memory intensive but um, if you have a pretty decent computer honestly like the average computer you'll buy will be able to run this pretty well unless you're playing like heavy games on top of it but other than that 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 is the whole experience showing you uh, putting together rounded TB as well as all those other applications that I did, which I'll list in the description box, um, putting them together to make your experience on Windows a little different, maybe a little bit more interesting. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about all this stuff. And uh, hopefully my voice is back to normal next week. Remember, Thursday, we have the next generation of Windows live stream that I'm going to be doing on here. Uh, so stay tuned with that and take care.